Hi there, it's Douglas coming to you from the Dawn's Photo Main Street in Winnipeg. Today I'm here to show you how to order some calendars through the Dawn's online print service. So we'll start by going to dawnsphoto.com. We'll click on the Photo Lab tab. And I'm going to go to View All Photo Products. This will open up a new tab for Dawn's Photo Print Refinery. And we'll come over to the Calendars and Cards side of it and we'll click on multi-page calendars. Now you've got the option between eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 18. There is also a eight by 12 inch calendar. So the eight and a half by 11 is uh, coil bound in the middle. So each page is eight and a half by 11. The eight and a half by 11 press printed stapled is stapled in the middle as opposed to coil bound. The 12 by 18 is coil bound at the top, so it's one large full page with photo and calendar. And the 8 by 12 photo calendar is the same as the 12 by 18, coil bound at the top, one large page, but a smaller size. Today I think I'm going to go with the 8.5 by 11 coil bound, so I'm going to click on that. There's a number of different styles available depending on what color scheme you want to go with. There's plain and simple white, so I think I'm going to go with that. On the left hand side here, we're going to go with a full year for all of 2022. So that is January 1st through December 31st of 2022. If you want, you can select it to begin November 2021 or December 2021, and those will go for 12 months. These options are here because I am ordering this October, and it may be that I want to have a calendar for that time span instead. But I'm going to go with the full year 2022. I'm going to go with the just white. So here's where we would drop in all of our photos. I don't have anything uploaded, so I'm going to do that very quickly. I'm uploading them from my computer. We're gonna go original size and we'll do add photos. I've got everything on the desktop in a nice easy to find folder called photos. I think I want to do some landscape photos that I had found online, though normally you would be doing your own photos. You can do some others that you found. These are all stock photos. And I'm going to come down and choose a number of different photos. Now I've chosen more photos than what the calendar can actually hold, but this is nice because it allows me some options depending on where I want different photos to be placed. The site's asking if I want to autofill. I'm gonna say no because I don't know what order it's going to drop it into the calendar. And I might want to have, say, a winter photo in January. And if it places in a summer photo, it might be a little, little different than what I was looking for. So we're gonna say no to start. And from here, page one is going to be your front cover and then going through all the months, so top part, bottom part, top photo, bottom calendar part, as well as the back cover if you wanted to do a portrait of yourself with who it's from. Now on each of these, we can click on it and we get a larger view. Let's say I wanted to choose this photo to start. We can drop that in. And in this bottom part with the crayon or the pencil, we can click on that. That's our text box. And we can mark it as, we'll just mark it as 2022. The text is in white, so we're going to choose a different color. I'm gonna go with black here. And we're going to choose a different font for that. Something more cursive. And we're going to make that a larger font as well. So if we're done with the front cover, we can use the side arrow to see the next one. So this will be January, and I'm going to choose a different photo, and it's drag and drop it in. There's our photo. If you're happy with that, happy with the placement, you can move it around if there's room to move to center it where you want it. We can go on to the next part. So this is showing January 2022. Um, there are some dates in here already, though if you wanted to add or customize, you can click on any of the dates because there are text boxes all over and we'll say 
this one is group birthday. So now this one will, they'll all be white in the end with the outline for the box, uh, white background, pardon me. But this one will now say group birthday on January 18th because maybe there's three people with the same birthday. We can move on to February and it's a lot of rinse and repeat. Coming through, clicking photos in, February 14th is Valentine's Day so that we don't forget that. Just keep going through placing photos for each month and customizing if you'd like to, you do not have to, the calendar part itself. Now on the left hand side, each photo that's been selected and put into the calendar is going to have a check mark on it so that you know you've already selected it. So that when you're scrolling through, right, I've already got this one on the front cover, so we'll drop this one in here. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be landscape photos, they can be whatever photos you'd like to. Street photography, portraits, family photos, whatever you have that you want to put into a calendar, either for yourself or as a gift for someone else. Nice summery beach scene for the month of July. So we've gone to August. I'm going to leave the rest blank for now because it's more or less the same thing over and over. But we're going to come up to thumbnails and this will give you an overview of each page and where things are. This will allow you to say, oh, instead of having this photo in January, I wanted it in December. You now have the overview to see that and to replace a photo, we can click on this one Let's say I wanted to do the city skyline instead. I can drag and drop right over it and place that in. I don't have to delete, I don't have to remove. I can just select another photo, drag and drop, and it'll replace it. So that when we come back to the thumbnails, I can select December, and I can select this image to put in there instead. So it makes editing the photos on here a little easier to just drag and drop over top. If you're happy with how the calendar looks at this point, we can add it to cart. If you wanted to get a number of calendars all at once, just for more gifts for other people, you can always hit the plus to change the quantity that you're looking at. I just want to go with the one for now, so we'll add to cart. So a brief overview, it's a 11 by 8.5 photographic coil bound calendar. So it is 11 wide, eight and a half tall with the coil bound to make it 17 inches long. From here, you can either continue shopping, but today we'll hit checkout. I don't have any special instructions with that, so we'll say next. If there was a calendar promotion, say for the 2021 calendars, I would put that in here. There's nothing at the moment, so I'll leave that blank. I've already selected to pick up at the Dawn's Photo Winnipeg Main Street location. However, if you'd like it shipped to you, you can have that done. You can leave the billing address the same as your shipping address, if that's what you're using. If you want it shipped out to you, you can choose Canada Post. If you wanted to do curbside pickup, you can do that at 1847 Main Street, Winnipeg. There's no extra charge for the curbside, but it will bill you for the calendar today. Otherwise, we can do pickup in store and you can choose between any of the four locations in Winnipeg or Saskatchewan. I'm still at the Don's Photo Winnipeg Main Street, so I will select that. All of my contact information is set up and correct, so I'm going to review the order. I said that I'd pay in store, so we'll leave that there. If you wanted to pay via credit card online, you can click that option and uh, that'll be taken care of. And then we've got an overview of what I've ordered. So the coil bound calendar, pick up at Main Street, all my information looks right for when the store needs to contact me. So from here, I can place the order. It gives me the order number and the lab will get the order, I've worked on that, and when it's ready to go, they will give me a call. I've gone over a lot for the calendars, though if there are any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Dawn's Photo and the staff there will be happy to help you out. Thank you.